Hi guys, welcome back to my channel this week. So I'm doing another at home video for beginners as far as getting used to getting in the habit of working out our arms. And so what I have for you is kind of a step by step. You can use whatever you have inside your own home. I use cans and a broken, um, <laughs> a broken broom. You are more than welcome to kind of fill in as needed where you think what's gonna work best with your grip, your strength, where you're at. Just make sure that when you're doing these exercises, if you're working a bicep muscle here and then you're gonna go into your left arm, make sure you're using the same weight, the same prop, so that you're getting the same amount of muscle growth on each side. So yeah, I'm super excited to show you guys this. Um, it's just gonna be pretty much simple, back to the basics, just getting yourself back to um, doing these movements and what I really recommend is actually doing them in front of a mirror so that you can watch yourself and make sure that you're doing the proper form and everything like that and hopefully it'll help you build your confidence so that next week when I do a in the mini excuse my pug so that next week when I do my um at the gym arm workout you guys will be ready so let me know if you guys liked it if you did please give me a big thumbs up and also never forget to subscribe down there and if you want to be notified at all when I make a video on your news feed Minnie is going to help me with this I guess uh, Minnie May if you want to be notified at all when I make a video on your news feed um, please click the little bell Ding. all right I just grabbed one of my favorite um, tomato sauces to use in my cupboard and we are going to be doing seated bicep curls single arm and make sure whatever you grab out of your pantry your arm won't drop <laughs> and you're going to keep your elbow in to your side and extend all the way down and squeeze at the top and I want you to do 20 reps on each arm four times through Alright, next I'm grabbing my all-time favorite barbecue sauce, if you guys remember from my last video. And we're going to be doing standing side bicep curls. Now I normally use this on the cable machine, um, but I just want you to kind of get that motion down for next week, or just getting used to it. So grab something light, I'm using my barbecue sauce, and you're going to keep your arm out straight the entire time and only hinge at your elbow. And really squeeze that bicep, make sure your elbow does not go below horizontal line and breathe <laughs> through it because even though this barbecue sauce is actually um, is working out your not only biceps but keeping this up worked out my shoulders as well. So we're going to be doing 12 reps on each arm three times through. liking the grip of my barbecue sauce so I'm going to be using it for almost all the workouts today but I'm going to be doing concentration curls next and you want your elbow to your knee and curl in towards your opposite shoulder and really go slow with this extend at the bottom and squeeze when you're going up really concentrating just on that bicep muscle and you're gonna be doing both arms we're gonna be doing sets of 20 three times through. enchilada sauce we are now going to start working out our triceps so we're going to do overhead skull crushers so grab the can with both hands go all the way behind your head and go straight up with that can really squeezing those triceps your bicep is the front of your arm your tricep is the back of your arm 
So we're going to be working on just the triceps with this. And I wanted to show you two different views to get the correct angle on where you're going to be putting that cam. After doing the sitting down skull crushers, I'm going to have you stand using a different weight or the same weight. Just the enchilada sauce is a little too big. And you're going to do single arm skull crushers standing. So you want to bring the can behind you and push up only using your triceps you are gonna look a little awkward make sure though again as I always say in every single video when you are doing a standing up exercise make sure there is a slight bend in your knees that you're not locking out and you're breathing through the exercise so I want you to superset the sitting down skull crushers with the standing single arm skull crushers so with the sitting down ones I'm gonna have you do 20 reps and you're gonna go straight into standing and do 10 reps on each arm and I'm gonna have you do this three times through. And to end our last tricep exercise, we're gonna do a bent over tricep extension using the barbecue sauce. I am using a chair, leaning with my arm, and both of my knees are bent, even the one I am half standing on. And you're gonna keep your elbow in close to your side and push that weight slash prop slash barbecue sauce back so that your arm is fully extended and squeezing that tricep. Just bringing it back in and out. Make sure squeezing it really good. And you're gonna be doing 20 reps on each arm three times through. All right, guys, and for our final exercise, we want to find something long and evenly weighted on both sides, and we're going to be doing seven ups. So you're going to be doing seven reps of a half bicep curl. So you're going to extend all the way at the bottom, but only go halfway up, and after you do those seven reps, you're going to start with your halfway up to full up and not going down. This is so hard to explain. <laughs> but you'll get the drift. Once I turn to the side, you'll see it a little better. You're only going to bring it on the halfway mark up for seven. And then finally, you're doing a full all the way down, all the way up extension of a bicep curl. Now I am changing my grip from wide to mid to inner grip on each one. And I want you guys to be doing this entire seven, seven, seven set three times through. This is our last exercise. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I love you guys. Remember, be safe, have fun, and I'll see you next week. When I make a video and you want it to pop up on your news feed, you're going to have to click this little bell. Ding! Right there. This is like take 10. Because <laughs> if you don't click the little bell, YouTube now will not notify you. I will not pop up on your feed. You will not know when I make a video. And I make one every week. Me! So my pug just had surgery and she's um, with the cone of shame. So she is not like me making these videos and I will actually take you over there and show you how cute and sad she is. All right, Minnie, are you ready? The cone of shame. In the cone of shame. <laughs> oh man. But yeah, so. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and I will see you guys next week in the gym. Bye!